Breaking Bad is the best TV show to binge when you want to escape. Exactly. From the premise to the execution to the, wow, how are they gonna get out of this one? It was perfectly orchestrated. This and chemistry, okay, this is art. Oh. The thing that was so engaging about Breaking Bad was it grabbed you because it was smart. The show never pandered to stupidity. So maybe I'm not such a loser after all. As much as you can feel like you do, you never really get away with anything. You have to pay in one way or the other. I am the danger. It was a diverse cast, I love that. You gave Giancarlo Esposito something meaty to do to show his talent. I like to think I see things in people. I loved Breaking Bad. I get recognized the most for hanging out with Marshall Mathers in the film Eight Mile. You'll rip him next time. Hands down, it's Eight Mile. It's not often that you get to be in a generational film, but that film has stood the test of time. It's gone on 20 years now. And uh, people still watch it, they still love it. This ain't a game and pimping ain't easy. People come up to me on the street and they'll just yell, Oh, 10 Freaky Girls! 10 Freaky Girls! And it's like, hey, all right, hi. My personal favorite movie about Los Angeles is Friday. Damn! When I was in high school, Friday came out. They had Zeus in the movie, Tiny Lister, who I grew up knowing him as Zeus. You had the great, late John Witherspoon in the film. I got the tape. I bought a bootleg. Forgive me, Cube. Forgive me, Chris. Don't let me get you, boy. I memorized every line of the movie. Bye, Felicia. The movie is hysterical. It doesn't take itself too seriously. Break yourself, fool! Yet, there are serious elements, just like the real Los Angeles. Now who's the punk? What classic TV or film role would I have liked to play? I probably would have loved to have been Indiana Jones. I love Indiana Jones, like, to death. He holds a special place in my heart from when I was a kid, going to see that Temple of Doom at the theater and just being blown away. Wow, holy smoke! And falling in love with cinema. This is history. I did not get the Indiana Jones hat, but I did get a whip. Give me the whip! Was dead serious about it. I saved up all of my allowance, all of my money. My mother took me down to Alvera Street, and in Alvera Street, which is a Los Angeles landmark, I bought a whip and I was a menace to society on my Indiana Jones tip. You, you were in trouble if you were a tree or a strawberry at my house. I was whipping everything outside. The thing that I really love about the unicorn is that we are representing everyone. It's a wonderful, diverse program. You are a unicorn. I'm a what? It's a comedy about coping with loss and grief from multiple angles. I am so sorry. I'm gonna comp the shishito peppers. You always hear the phrase that it takes a village to raise children, but it takes a village to maintain successful adults. Is it supposed to work this quickly? <laughs> Six foot cuddler like you? Hell yeah. Word. And with where we are in the world right now, where we are in the country right now with all the division, this show brings a, a good unity and connection through universal human elements. Why do you gotta put your own spin on everything? I hope you enjoyed my take five. Remember you can catch me on Thursday nights on The Unicorn on CBS. Check it out, you'll like it.